Hey everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com and let's just get straight into it. There's some breaking news that has only really emerged today. Uh, Jay Uso has been arrested for a DUI in Texas on Sunday. As mentioned, the arrest took place in Hidalgo, Texas on Sunday and did result in Jay Uso being taken into custody, but he was released later that same day. There are no further uh, details that have emerged as of yet, but we will keep you posted if anything major emerges. Uh, Pro Wrestling Sheet have apparently reached out to try and procure an incident report, but they haven't received one yet, so there's nothing much more to report on this story. In other news, and again, very serious news, but news that can't, you know, hasn't yet been proven one way or another, uh, Roman Reigns has been named by a jailed steroid dealer as one of his clients. Uh, Richard Rodriguez was jailed last year when his gym was raided, and he was found to be selling a lot of steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs, and since then, he has called from prison a documentary maker by the name of Johnny Bravo, not that Johnny Bravo, uh, and suggested that he was one of his clients, that Roman Reigns was one of his clients. Now, obviously, uh, as reporters, we can't say that this is true or false, but um, it is important to point out that this is the word of a man who has been jailed for selling steroids, so he's not the most reputable source as of yet. But needless to say, if it were to turn out to be true, I guess, um, WrestleMania 34 would have to be totally changed. You know, Vince McMahon's plans would have to be totally changed. Roman Reigns has been built up for years as the top guy in the company and you know he won the previous two WrestleMania main events against Triple H at 32 and at 33 against The Undertaker and he even main evented 31 when Seth Rollins cashed in so he is you know whether we like it or not he is the major star in WWE that's where they want him to be positioned and if this does turn out to be true which again we can't say with any degree of certainty um, then it would it would change everything. It would shift the entire wrestling landscape. And finally, in some slightly happier news, without any accusations or arrests or anything like that, Candice LeRae has officially signed with WWE. She was in the Mae Young Classic last year, where she reached, I believe, the quarterfinals, where she was knocked out by Shayna Baszler en route to Shayna's kind of path of destruction to the final, where she, of course, lost to the winner, Kyrie Sane. But Candice LeRae, of course, one of the most popular women's wrestlers in the world, especially on the independent circuit for promotions such as PWG where she was really beloved and it'll be very exciting to see her in a WWE ring. Who knows, she might even be put into a storyline with her real life husband Johnny Gargano, although I, I certainly wouldn't expect that. I think that Candice is more than capable enough of carrying a storyline on her own merit. So thanks very much for watching this news piece. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. It's important once again to stress that nothing about Roman Reigns has yet been proven. It is simply one man's accusation. So I guess we'll just report on that more whether any further details do emerge. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Again, check me out at uh, Jack the Jobber on Twitter. Follow all of us at Cultaholic. Check out our Patreon if you want, where you can uh, donate if you enjoy what we do. And don't forget, of course, to join us.